Hi guys, good evening, and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in today's video, I will be discussing what I thought of the latest episode of Star Trek Discovery. It dropped its newest episode today on CBS All Access. I just got done watching it and enjoyed it very much. Oh man, I'm still reeling from last week's episode. It was so damn good. But damn, this episode was pretty damn good too. Before I get begin, of course, please be warned, this is a spoiler-filled review, so if you're not caught up on Discovery by this episode or last week, you may not want to keep watching or listening, as I will be discussing spoilers. So, you have been warned. That being said, let's dive right back into it. Um, I'm a little surprised they found the Federation and Starfleet as fast as they did. I thought that would be like the goal or the mission of the whole season would be to locate Federation and Starfleet headquarters. But they found it rather quickly, actually, thanks to the symbiont. But I do believe now that the main mission or overall arc of this season will be finding out what the burn is, who caused it, and why. And it sounds like, based on talking to the Admiral, he can't share classified info, but even the surviving members of Starfleet and the Federation are kind of in the dark as to what the burn was, how it happened, and who was responsible for it. Because it sounds like everybody's got theories, but no substantial proof or evidence of what actually happened and who did it and why. So our characters are just as in the dark as the audience is. I mean, we'll probably eventually find out, hopefully by the end of the season. But um, I do like that they did find Federation headquarters. And uh, it was a little sad to hear that out of the 350 planets that were really originally members of the Federation, only 38 remain. And I don't think they mean that the other planets were completely obliterated or destroyed. I think it means they just simply lost contact due to the lack of, uh, of uh, dilithium and the lack of like warp core space travel and whatnot. So those planets are probably still out there. They're just unfortunately out of contact with everybody. It was nice that Saru's, uh, Saru's people joined the Federation. That was cool. And then uh, the lady with the breathing tube thing who ended up staying on that ship, uh, Non, I think her name was. I might have gotten that wrong. But her race, her planet joined the Federation too. I did like her story in this episode, how she ends up staying with a scientist who lost his whole family. Very sad. But overall, this was a pretty good start, typical Star Trek episode where they're trying to help save a group of people, if not an entire race, where they're trying to save a group of people, in this case, from a deadly virus, by uh, find creating an antidote from the seeds of a flower uh, from their original home world. So that was pretty cool. That was like, they kind of took a classic Star Trek episode and uh, reworked it a little bit because they also incorporated, uh, you know, the massive forward jump in time. And you know what? This episode had really funny lines in it too. God, I love the engineer, how she says to Lieutenant Willow, dysfunction is the team. Because before she's like, well, despite the dysfunction, you are quite a team. Dysfunction is the team. <laughs> This shit was hilarious and how the characters were so nonchalant in their answers when being interrogated or questioned by the holograms. And like how Hugh was like, well, I died. I was murdered, but it's okay. Me and my murderer are good now. <laughs> that was hilarious. And when he said that, I was like, oh yeah, that's right. He died in the first season, but then came back again. I, I have to rewatch it, but there were some really funny, memorable lines throughout this episode. Overall, it was a pretty funny episode, but it also had some great beats and moments of drama as well. I did like how, you know, the crew of the Discovery immediately came into conflict with the new ways of the Federation because of the time jump and because of how the Federation is probably a lot more on edge due to the burn and obviously has trust issues even with members of the Federation, whether they're from the past or present. But um, I enjoyed it, though. Very good episode. Really liked it. I hope we see uh, Nan again someday, despite leaving her uh, on that ship. I think it's cool. I understood her reasons why, like, wanting to go back home to her planet. Doubtful her family's still alive after all this time, but it'd be nice to see the home world. So what did you guys think of this episode? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Were you expecting more, expecting less? I want to hear your thoughts and your opinions down below in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show as much as I did. Star Trek Discovery drops new episodes every Thursday on CBS All Access. Don't miss it. This has been a great season so far. All right, guys, have a great rest of your night. Thanks for watching. And of course, until next time, may the force be with you.